Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. This is Penguin Tech. Today we're going to unbox this 5.1 uh, soundbar system by Sony. So the model number is HTS20R. It's a 5.1 real surround soundbar with a total of 400 watt. It also supports Bluetooth. So as you can see, it also supports USB here on the subwoofer. Um, the input you can use is including HDMI up, optical and analog and then uh, that's about it so as you can see the box shape is in an L shape that's because the soundbar is pretty long and then I suppose this part will have the woofer and then the uh, the real speakers so this is the HTS20R model which is, a, which is the cheapest 5.1 sound system by Sony I can find and I got it around 550 ringgit on a promotional deck uh, but uh, the usual MSRP is 949 so uh, without further ado let's unbox this and then uh, let's see what's inside so these are all wired if you buy the HTS 440R it is wireless for the rear speaker whereas so this one it's wired so you have to do a bit more um, wire management and also the, the S40R contains a uses a higher wattage especially it's woofer and it comes with a wireless amplifier for the real speakers how do I move and this pretty cool okay so uh, we are greeted with I believe this is the optical wire which we will not use because we are going to use the HDMI up this is the power cable so I'm from Malaysia and that what they give is two pin I believe this connects to the woofer or the soundbar but let's see this is the controller itself uh, pretty minimalistic design I like it and then comes with the two triple air battery that we'll need to put it in before we use it here we have manuals um, setup guides and stuff let me just try and open it and see how it works pretty thick wall mounted template so you can mount your soundbar onto the wall wall and this is how it does it actually helps you to guide you also this is the setup manual in Chinese is it English also yes multiple language yeah startup guide lots of paper to be honest um, yeah this is another language uh, yeah I mean there's just so many opening instructions so there's a lot of instruction manual and user guide or startup guide whatsoever so I guess this is the woofer uh, perhaps we need to cut this off yes we do so I guess this is the sound bar we'll have to cut this off to get access to it so I'm gonna have to lift this up there we go so the soundbar is here a bit of a hefty weight it is after all a sound bar with three, three speakers inside one center one on the left and one on the right Well, I have to can take a look at this sound bar first. So as you can see, it's all plastic, but the surface has a bit of a like a brushed aluminum surface with a Sony branding here. It is about two kg as I read, and then we have some metal grills towards the side here, all the way. You can see a bit of a compartment here and here, then all the way to this side. It does feel very heavy if you hold it on one end with one hand 
And so what I'm interested in is the model number, so let's have a look. SSS20R, made in China. So because Sony also sells a lot of individual sound bars, and I'm not sure if you can get this individually, but this is the one that comes with the HTS20R. And then uh, we have all of these wires here. I think it's also pretty long all of which is color coded and will have to be connected to the rear of the woofer which also has color coded so you know which one you'll need to put it in it does have a bit of a rubber feet on here and but there's only one here and here and so you have nothing connected to the sound bar so I guess the control center control will be at the woofer will be at the at the rear of the woofer. So there's nothing and as you can see you have many holes for you to help assist in the wall mounting. And this wire will come up beneath the uh, sound bar or you know the cutout is just perfect if you want to put it on your you know desk or anything. So yeah, uh, it's all plastic built, but it's still pretty he heavy. And if we try and look inside here, I, we see a big speaker here and there's a hole here. I'm not quite sure what it is. Another speaker here, two holes here, another hole here and uh, a speaker here. And I'm pretty sure this is metal for the body. The grill is metal, I believe, but uh, the body is plastic. And to try to make it like a brush and aluminum. Anything, anyways, let's set that aside. Let's see what it is in here. Um, I believe we have some speakers here. So, this is the speaker, and uh, the polystyrene does label it as R, so this will be the right real speaker. And uh, let's have a look. It is well packed though, to be honest. So as you can see, metal grill also, plastic body, you see uh, the brush aluminium pattern also, but it's definitely plastic and the Sony branding. That looks nice, there's a bit of a rubber feeding, rubber feet on the bottom, so the model is also SS20R. So I believe this comes in the set. I'm not quite sure if you get it individually, but uh, yeah. And uh, you have this wire here. And I believe this is around five to six meter. So if you have a small living room, you are able to route it and try and hide it. And then if you use it as, as the rear speaker, or if you you just wanna put it right beside your soundbar, that's also doable. So you have a big speaker here and a hole here. So I guess the hole here is for the air to go inside but yeah but looks pretty elegant design wise very simple I mean it, it, it just sits to the back of you so yeah um, so I guess the left, speak, left speaker is right here so not quite sure why the plastic color is different so this is the right speaker right speakers one you see the plastic is transparent but this one the wire plastic is uh, blue color but uh, yeah this is the same exact unit it's just this is for the left this is for the differentiation that you can recognize this is for the left yeah probably it's just to help you to recognize this is for the left speaker and as you can see this color color blotted blue color coded blue color for the real left real speaker while the Right rear speaker is grey colour. Oh. Yeah. Then last but not least is the woofer. So uh just need to take this apart carefully. They are all wrapped in this one layer or I'm not quite sure why is this plastic. But yeah. Oh, it's upside down. But anyway, let me just lift it up. So, 
This is the main unit. Pretty heavy. Oh. Let me just bring it up here. It is pretty heavy. One thing I noticed is how come no question sure, but this is not flat. This line is not flat. It goes deeper here, but I'm not quite sure why. Anyways, this is Sony logo on the top of it. Um, yeah, this is quite a heavy unit, and then uh, this is the power indicators. I, I believe these are just indicators. These are uh, you can't tap on it, and as you can see here, it's a USB slot here for you to play your music off your USB pen drive or things like that. But yeah, it allows Bluetooth. So a big speaker, big woofer here and a hole here for them to suck in the air for the woofer to work. Um, there's nothing else on this unit so let's flip it to the back. This is where the, all the magic happens so uh, you have this analog in here, HDMI out so we're going to try and use the HDMI out. And then TV in here. All of these are color coded for your rear speaker, your sound bar. As you can see, right, front, right, front, left, center, these are all from the sound bar. Um, surround, right, surround, left for your rear speakers, and this is the power unit. So, all of this unit totals up to 400 watt, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So not quite sure, it does feel like this This is a wood material interesting but it's black color yeah I think this is wood interesting um, yeah so let's have a look at the model name can't quite see it yep SAWS20R not quite sure if I can buy individually or so but yeah that's about it guys I will be setting out this speaker and uh, uh, we'll follow up with a video of the sound test and how, how I set it up. And yeah, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and share the video if you find this useful. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye.